Hey everyone, welcome to the Penny Lane Code Camp. In this video, we'll show you what you need to do to get participating in the action. First off, let's quickly sign in. And what you're gonna wanna do next is scroll down and click create or join a team. There are two options here. You can either join an existing team or create one of your own. To join an existing team, you need a team code. So if you'd like to find a team, check out the discussion on our Slack channel by clicking this link right here and introduce yourself to future teammates. For now, I'm just gonna create a team of my own and I'm gonna call it Team Xanadu. On the team tab, you'll see all the team members' usernames and a team code that I was referring to earlier. If you want other people to join your team, give them this code. If you're happy with who's on your team already, you can lock your team by clicking this button right here and then nobody else can join. If you have any questions about this process at all, click the support tab right here. To help answer your questions, we have a few things for you. You can see a list of frequently asked questions here. If you have technical problems and you wanna directly contact us, click support right here, and you can send us a detailed message about what your problem is specifically. And finally, if you click Slack, it will direct you to our public Slack channel where you can contact us there and interact with the community. Now onto the main part of the code camp, which are the coding challenges. Every week, there will be a set of five new problems to complete that are progressing in difficulty. The first week will be a set of easier problems, which we'll call the explorer problems. The next week will be called the adventurer problems, which are a little bit harder than the explorer problems. And then the final week will consist of five hard problems called pioneer problems. The five new questions provided to you every week will follow a common thread. Providing correct solutions to the coding challenges will give you points, and the teams with the most points and that completed the questions in the shortest amount of time will win prizes. To get you familiar with how the platform works and how to submit problems, there is a tutorial challenge that you can try out called Penny Lane Code Camp Tutorial Challenge. Let's see how this works. Each question provided to you has a lengthy description showing what the problem is about, what's asked of you, and so on. In this particular tutorial challenge, what we're asking you to do is just create an easy function that adds two numbers together. Scrolling down to the section where the code is provided for you to edit, you'll see some white parts and gray parts. The white parts are uneditable code blocks that you cannot change. The only place where you can provide a solution is in the gray area where you can edit to your heart's content. So for this particular problem, in the gray area is a function called add numbers that you just need to complete. Scrolling down a bit more, you'll see more code that's responsible for testing your solution. You don't need to concern yourself with it too much. It's purely just there for our grader to run your code and see if your answer is correct or not. To test your solution, there's a public test case called test cases. It's a list containing a couple things. The first here is the input to the problem. These are the two numbers in this case that are gonna be added together. And then the second element is the output from the problem. And in this case, the output should be zero. So, okay, let's complete this problem. The solution's just gonna be X plus Y. And then once you're done with that, you go to the bottom and press submit. So what's gonna happen is our greater service is going to run your solution on the test case that I mentioned before and a couple more private test cases to make sure that your solution works in general and not just for the public test case. You can view all of your submissions for every single coding challenge problem by clicking submissions here and it will show you a table of every submission you made, its status, and a submission ID that you can use for submitting a support ticket. So let's do that. Let's actually go and submit a support ticket because let's say you provided a solution that you thought was perfectly fine. And you're not really sure where you went wrong. So for this particular submission, I was incorrect. I'm gonna copy the submission ID and go to support and then click on support. And then here you can open a support ticket to contact us directly. The email that you use to register for the event will be how we contact you after you submit this support ticket. So make sure you keep an eye out on your email. If you wanna test your solution locally before you submit it, there's a couple of different options for you. You can click open notebook down here. And what this will do is it will open the code in a Jupyter Notebook style environment on Xanadu Cloud. Now here you can edit the entire code. Just make sure that when you feel like your solution is ready to be submitted, you copy and paste the code that goes back into the gray area only. The other option you have is just to copy the code entirely just by clicking copy all, and then you can open it up in any sort of environment that you want locally. So let's say you've completed a few challenges and you want to see how your team is doing in the competition. You can click rank at the top here. And what this will do is it will show you a leaderboard along with some stats about your team. And that about sums up the interface here on the Penny Lane Code Camp website. Enjoy the event and good luck.